Hello, welcome to Biology 214, Personal and Community Health at Park University. My name is Mike Sanchez and I'm your instructor. I'd like to ask you a question right now and I want you to give it a little bit of thought. Based on what you do on a daily basis, your behaviors, how healthy are you? Every day you're faced with uh, different decisions to make. And when I refer to behaviors, the two kinds of behaviors you're going to engage in on a regular basis are either constructive or destructive behaviors. Examples, wear your seatbelt, you don't wear your seatbelt. Eat a healthy diet, don't eat a healthy diet. Exercise, don't exercise. You get the idea. Did you know that of the 10 leading causes of death in this country, seven of them are directly related to what you do on a daily basis. The latest research in also supports this in that for people to reach their 70s, what determines that is your behavior, your daily choices. A lot of people say, well, what about my genetics? What about my heredity? After your 70s, in order to reach your 80s and 90s, yes, your heredity does make a difference. But up to your 70s, it has to do with your daily behavior. Over the next eight weeks, you're going to be exposed to a lot of health information. Sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. And you say, geez, I do everything incorrectly. I live a really unhealthy lifestyle, so what's the point? What's the use? Or, like a lot of people say, health information changes all the time, so what's the point? One day something's healthy, the next day it's unhealthy. My challenge to you is this. Choose a couple of simple things in your life that you would like to change for the better. Say you're not very active and you want to add a little more activity into your daily lifestyle. What a lot of people do is they go join a gym and uh, get new workout clothes and all of that and they make it uh, something that's almost impossible to continue uh, with their busy schedule. My challenge to you is to, maybe at work, you have a couple of 10 minute breaks, go out for a short walk. And while you're on that walk, maybe eat an apple or a banana, something like that that's healthy for you. And all of a sudden you've changed two behaviors for the better in your lifestyle. I, I always recommend, recommend to my students that they work to change things gradually. Success does breed success. So if you start by adding a little bit of fruit into your diet every day or adding a little bit of activity, that type of thing, pretty soon you've changed a couple behaviors for the better and you're living a healthier lifestyle. So those are the things that I, I hope you take to heart over the next eight weeks. Another thing that I, uh, you'll see in the discussion threads that I do discuss with you is what, what I call my 80-20 rule. And I really recommend that you apply this to your lifestyle. What I mean by that is, do what's correct or the right thing to do 80% of the time and the other 20% of the time, party. You define party for yourself and your life. You want to enjoy life and there's nothing, you should be able to live a healthy lifestyle and enjoy. So remember that 80-20 rule. I will refer to it quite often. Um, a couple other things. Uh, over the course of the term, if you do have any questions, concerns, or issues that do come up, feel free to contact me. I do get back to my class uh, as soon as possible, I will, and I do have a 24-hour rule that I do enforce for myself, uh, and I will get back to you and help in any way possible. So again, welcome, and I'm looking forward to working with you over the next eight weeks. Thank you.